This video from the answer series forms part of our question-by-question -question diagnostic report series. This short video highlights common errors and misconceptions articulated in the patterns and sequences topic of the diagnostic report. Let's start by having a look at the overall performance of the section and then question 2 specifically. The Patterns and Sequences section of the November 2023 matric exam had a 63% average achievement countrywide. Question 2 from this topic as a whole achieved a 72% average. If we look just at question 2.1, this achieved an 89% average. The question involved a given arithmetic series and learners had to first determine the value of the 91st term, then calculate the sum of the first 91 terms and finally calculate the value of n for which the nth term equaled 517. Here is the memo for question 2.1. You will see alternative solutions have been given for each question. You may want to pause the video here if you'd like to spend more time looking at the memo. Let's have a look now at the common errors and misconceptions laid out by the diagnostic report. The most common errors in question 2.1 and its sub-questions were the use of incorrect formulae like for Tn or incorrect substitution of n as Tn or Sn. If we look now at question 2.2, where a 55% average was achieved, this question was about a quadratic number pattern. The learners first had to find the fifth term, then the general term, and then in the third part they had to show that the pattern was increasing for all natural numbers of n. Here is the memo for question 2.2.1 and 2.2.2. Pause here for a moment if you need to have a look through the memo. If we look at the common errors and misconceptions for these two sub-questions, many candidates substituted n equals 5 into the given Tn formula in question 2.2.2 to answer question 2.2.1 rather than developing the quadratic pattern. The candidates knew how to develop the pattern as this was well done in question 2.2.2 when asked to show the quadratic pattern but the link was not made between determining the formula of a quadratic pattern and generation of the quadratic pattern. And then the memo for question 2.2.3, where they asked to show that the pattern was increasing. You will see two alternatives given here as well, including a visual of the parabola represented by the quadratic, with one, the first natural number, to the right of the symmetry line. Pause again if you'd like to spend some time on the memo. Let's have a look now at the common errors and misconceptions laid out by the diagnostic report for question 2.2.3. In this question, most candidates could not show that the pattern was increasing for all natural numbers. They were not able to manipulate the quadratic pattern as a quadratic function to provide the argument of where the axis of symmetry of the pattern was. Then lastly, here are some suggestions for improvement for question 2. For question 2.1, A. Learners must be made aware of which formulae on the formula sheet apply to which type of sequence. It is good practice for them to use the information sheet in class so that they become familiar with it. B. Teach learners how to identify whether the question requires them to calculate the value of the nth term or the sum of the first n terms. C. Questions must be read carefully so that the learners know what is required of them. And then for question 2.2, D, learners should be discouraged from using information provided in later questions to answer earlier questions in an examination. Learners must be encouraged to develop patterns using their properties rather than using their explicit general terms. The understanding of where a pattern starts and what the pattern does is important to emphasize. The basic diagram was sufficient in answering question 2.2.1. E. Teachers need to specifically teach the relationships between a quadratic pattern and a parabola, making particular reference to the axis of symmetry and minimum or maximum values of the pattern. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from 
The Answer Series, your key to exam success.